Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, Cadence, Lucy, Orion, and anyone else who's listening. Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is Thomas's Snowsuit. Story by Robert Munch. Art by Michael Marchenko. On the dedication page, it says, To Otis and Erica Wine in Halifax, who helped me make up this story, and to Danny Munch. And there is Thomas on the dedication page. So the story begins. One day, Thomas's mother bought him a nice new brown snowsuit. When Thomas saw that snowsuit, he said, that is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. If you think that I am going to wear that ugly snowsuit, you are crazy. Thomas's mother said, we will see about that. The next day, when it was time to go to school, the mother said, Thomas, please put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. <laughs> Get him with his tongue out saying that is the ugliest snowsuit and on each page uh, up at the top corner there's a different colored um, a, a different cap uh, like a uh, snow cap his mother jumped up and down and said Thomas put on that snowsuit and Thomas said no so Thomas's mother picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight, and when it was done, Thomas was in his snowsuit. Oh my goodness, look, the feathers are coming out of the pillow, the curtains have come down. The mother's shoe is off and on the back of the couch. <laughs> she looks a mess, and Thomas looks so angry, doesn't he? <laughs> Thomas went off to school and hung up his snowsuit. When it was time to go outside, all the other kids jumped into their snowsuits and ran out the door, but not Thomas. The teacher looked at Thomas and said, Thomas, please put on your snowsuit. Thomas said, no. The teacher jumped up and down and said, Thomas, put on that snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. Boy, he really doesn't like that snowsuit, does he? So the teacher picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight. And when they were done, the teacher was wearing Thomas's snowsuit and Thomas was wearing the teacher's dress. <laughs> Look, in the struggle, there's been a crack put in the wall and see the hooks that are coming off. And how in the world did the teacher get into his snowsuit? <laughs> When the teacher saw that she was wearing what she was wearing, she picked up Thomas in one hand and tried to get him back into his snowsuit. They had an enormous fight. When they were done, the snowsuit and the dress were tied into a great big knot on the floor, and Thomas and the teacher were in their underclothes. Just then, the door opened and in walked the principal. The teacher said, it's Thomas. He won't put on his snowsuit. <laughs> Look at the teacher's hair and how her glasses have one earpiece has come loose and even more cracks in the wall and the bench is knocked over. Whew, this is getting interesting. The principal gave his very best principal look and said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. 
Oh, he does not want to put that snowsuit on, does he? So, the principal picked up Thomas in one hand, and he picked up the teacher in the other hand, and he tried to get them back into their clothes. When he was done, the principal was wearing the teacher's dress, <laughs> the teacher was wearing the principal's suit, and Thomas was still in his underwear. Underwear. Then, from far out in the playground, someone yelled, Thomas, come and play. Thomas ran across the room, jumped into his snowsuit, got his boots on in two seconds, and ran out the door. <laughs> look at how Thomas is laughing. And look what the teacher looks like in the principal's suit and the principal in the teacher's dress. He even has the the teacher's pearls around his neck. <laughs> the principal looked at the teacher and said, hey, you have on my suit, take it off right now. The teacher said, oh no, you have on my dress. You take off my dress first. Well, they argued and argued and argued, but neither one wanted to change first. <laughs> So what do you think is going to happen? Finally, Thomas came in from recess. He looked at the principal and he looked at the teacher. Thomas picked up the principal in one hand. He picked up the teacher in the other hand. They had an enormous fight and Thomas got everybody back into their clothes. <laughs> Man, look at what the principal and the teacher look like. And the the bench is totally <laughs> broken. And the look at all the holes and cracks in the the wall behind them. And Thomas is just uh going snip snap. Got it done, right? The next day, the principal quit his job and moved to Arizona, where nobody ever wears a snowsuit. The end. <laughs> Look at how relaxed the teacher is, the principal is with the cactus next to him. He's got on some fancy cowboy boots too. Wa water and a flower. Well, I hope you like that book. Once again, Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko make us laugh. Tomorrow, we're going to be reading the book Swimmy, written and illustrated by Leo Leone. I think you'll like it. So take good care of yourselves, love on each other, keep loving yourself, and always remember that I love you. And we'll be back together tomorrow for story time when we read Swimmy by Leo Leone. Bye-bye.